2016 RTTC Men's 10 Mile Championship took place near Liphook in Hampshire on Sunday the 21st of August and the race HQ was at the Bowhunt School. The event was promoted by A3CRG and the course is rather testing out and back along the B2070. At the start, the timekeepers are in good spirits, for there is some discussion about how the rations are so depleted. And who could have eaten the biscuits? With the watches synchronised, the serious business begins, and after a couple of non-starters, the first rider to start is number eight, Adam Evans riding for Newby Road Club. Adam completed the course in a time of 27 minutes and 37 seconds. Paul French is next on the start line. Paul rides for Bedfordshire Roads Racing Team and his time was 25.26. After another non-starter, this is Ben Briffitt of Southdown Velo. Ben finished in a time of 25.28. On the start line now is Den Tapping riding for Hampshire Road Club. He put in a time of 26.26. Jonathan Gates is the next to start his ride. He's riding for the Royal Air Force Cycling Association and completed in a time of 22.48. We're out on the course now to watch the action. This is Andrew Thomas of Dulwich Paragon Cycling Club on his way to a time of 25.09. Let's sit back and watch the race.
back at the start now. And Kevin Ty is always an entertaining rider. Kevin rides for VeloRefined.com Aerosmiths and finishing the time of 22.16. Christopher McNamara is next on the start line, rider for Noon Sigma Sport London Racing Team. Chris finishing the time at 22 minutes dead. This is George Fox of the Wellingborough Cycles Racing Team and he finished in 22.25. Number 132 is Nick English of Aerocoach. Nick's time was 22.45. Rob Sharland is waiting to start his race. He rides for the Paceline Racing Team and put in a time of 21.55. Next on the start line is the current closed circuit champion Brett Harwood of Terry Wright Cycles Racing Team. This time Brett completed the course in 21.54. This is Daniel Barnett riding for Team Bottrell. Daniel finished in 23.11. Jonathan Weirs is the next to start his race. Jonathan rides for SSLL Racing Team and finished in 22.13. Another Team Bottrell rider now, this is Matthew Smith. Matt finished in 7th place in a time of 21.23. Number 142 is James Boyman and he rides for Farnham Road Club. James completed his ride in a time of 21.45. Dan Bingham is the next rider to start, riding for dragtozero.com. and he achieved a time of 22.17. Another drag to zero rider now, this is Mark Jones. Mark recorded a time of 22.43. The last four riders to start were the fastest four riders on the day. This is multi-champion Ryan Perry of Langdale Lightweights Racing Team. Today Ryan took the bronze medal finishing at a time of 20.46. The silver medal went to James Gullen of Pedal Heaven. He finished in a time of 20.39. The penultimate rider to start is Matt Clinton of Mike Vaughan Cycles. This year Matt finished in fourth place with a time of 21.14. Finally, on the start line is reigning champion Richard Bussell riding for Aero Coach. Richard finished with a margin of just four seconds, giving him a finishing time of 20.35, earning him the gold medal. We're heading for the finish line now to watch the last of the riders finish their race. And as Richard Bussell crosses the line, we head back to Race HQ for the presentations. And the 2016 National 10 Mile Men's Champion returning his title with the time of 2035 and Aero Gold, Richard Bussell. <laughs> Yeah, I came, came last Sunday to try it out in full race kit and thought I'd ride, ride to an average power and just see what it's like. So I went away knowing and I looked at it, analysed it and I knew what, what to do. So I came here today knowing it. So I thought I'd head out to that first, uh, first downhill as hard as I could really because I knew I was going to lose a lot of power on that downhill. So I thought if I can keep the average high to there, I can sort of pedal down the hill but sort of recover a bit until I come round up the hill and then... I mean, I was maxing out on the way out. I was going absolutely flat out, and on the way back, I was just hanging on for dear life. I was looking at the 
8.5 marker as the end really and sort of see if I can hang on for that last mile and a half great because I knew that the wind, with the wind behind you that last mile and a half was going to be super quick anyway so just aim for that top of the hill and just hung on tight and you did it yeah is it a new course record uh, yes it is yeah it was uh, I think the old course record was 20, 21 31 or something but last I came here last Sunday and did a 2050 which which beat the course record so I knew that I could have I could go even faster. It wasn't as fast as I was hoping to go today, but it was a lot windier today. So it was 50, 15 seconds improvement. So until next time, goodbye.